What's going on guys, this is Mr. DeLorean here, I want to do a brand new video and today what I want to do is break down the new teaser we got for The Walking Dead Season 11 titled Have and Have Not. Now this teaser is absolutely insane, it features some really insane imagery and everything and some really big peaks into like, you know, huge plot points in Season 11, which I know is something I usually say in a lot of my videos when I'm usually right, but I do promise you this has some really cool shit into it and like, you know, the teaser and everything, so let's hop right into it. Let's start with your name. But before we do hop into the teaser, I did want to say that all like, you know, the teasers and videos in this like, you know, video come from the Walking Dead's YouTube channel, which will all be linked down below in the description. So you guys go check out this teaser without my voice over it. And also there's gonna be a lot of character flashes or quick character flashes in this and everything that I'm kind of harp on for a really long time, so not that quick. So I'll be glazing over those very quickly and everything and trying to get into the like the real meat and potatoes and everything of this teaser. So yeah, with all that out of the way, let's hop right into the teaser and break it down. So with the first shot of this teaser, we do get Maggie kind of standing really badass and everything standard down in the train station or underground railroad area and like you know we've been seeing tons of and tons of and tons of in season 11 like you know promo material and there's really not much to break down with her down here anything besides she's going to be down here or anything which is super cool next we get daryl with that iconic or not really iconic but that phrase that's been like on every single wall and every single promo for like you know season 11 or anything down here in these underground railroad tracks is like you know the whole like you know spray painted phrase of he if there's a guy who like i love to beg for his forgiveness or something like that which it's being shown in a a lot of teasers which like i said maybe it links to the pope i'm not 100 percent sure but it's definitely being shown a ton and what's weird with this shower right here it looks like a lot of things are falling down from like it looks like kind of like dust or something is falling down on daryl anything which we'll get into a little bit later into the teaser well it's more of a theory that we'll get into later or anything but it looks like dust is falling down on him yet again it could be a complete video effect from the teaser or anything but maybe not i'm not sure next we get arian and rosita and everything they're pretty much standing in front of what looks to be the windmill in alexandria and anything with some trees behind them and obviously like I said, this is Alexandria, but this looks really cool in my opinion. Like, really, really cool because, like, you know, it just, like, it, the coloring looks nice, I guess you could say. But we have, like, you know, the Alexandrian kind of, like, you know, windmill behind them, which, you know, it's it's cool. Not much really break down. Next, we have Gabriel and everything standing looking pretty badass and terrifying as Negan said in, I think, season seven or scary as shit, I think. But he's standing in front of the kind of the graffiti on, like, you know, the walls that we broke down in the last breakdown or anything, where it's, like, all this, like, very weird graffiti with, like, you know, walkers like you know roaming or anything someone with a crown and like a beard and everything all like very weird shit and graffiti on the walls which i do wonder what all of it means and everything because there's like you know the whole like you know if there is a guy with a beg for my forgiveness thing and then there's all this graffiti on the wall or anything that gabriel was reading in one of the teaser images that we did break down so i do wonder like you know what all this graffiti means and everything and why like you know gabriel's staying all in front of it and everything and why he was looking at it in that one teaser image that he did get a while back next we get alden and carolyn i think staying down the underground underground railroad track area and everything and train track area and when i've seen a lot of people comment saying that this is a very weird duo to put together which i couldn't agree more like alden and carol like they really haven't had many interactions or anything like maybe alden will try to kill negan and carol will kill alden i don't know although it's being heavily rumored that alden will be killed by the reapers in some form of like ambush like really brutally which you know like i mentioned before i don't really have a problem with not a bad character it's just like you know his time has really come and what's really weird is it looks like they're looking up to something and there's like a light shining down on them and everything so dust was falling down possibly on daryl and they're looking up so i do wonder if there's something happening above ground in like you know above these like you know train track underground areas next we get ezekiel and everything standing in what looks to be this really orange weird area i can only assume since this is the only place we've seen like you know ezekiel yumiko eugene and princess is the like you know cajun area in the commonwealth camp so that's like what i can only assume that he's in or anything since it's very hard to decipher 100 where he is and it looks like there are are some caged fences behind him or some like you know fence behind him so that's where i can only assume that he is like you know in this shot next we get yumiko and everything and she's staying in this room with two lights behind her which i can only assume is maybe a staging area maybe her getting interviewed by someone not 100 percent sure now this shot is really 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 weird and i think we get dara walking on this like kind of lone track towards the windmill in alexandria which is really really weird in my opinion it's kind of scary because it makes you think like the first thing that pops up 
in my head or anything when I saw this is, oh my God, is he going to die? Why is he alone walking on this lone track in the middle of just darkness and everything walking towards like, you know, the windmill? Then it kind of makes me think, is this the end of Alexandria or anything? Because there's nothing else surrounding it. It's clearly the windmill in Alexandria. So I do wonder like, you know, why he's walking towards it and it's the only thing left in Alexandria or the only thing that's like, you know, in this like, you know, shot and everything with nothing surrounding it besides just darkness. And there's just like, you know, a dark cloud like going over and everything. He's walking towards it alone. So I do wonder like, you know, what does this all mean? Because we did get that shot with Rosita and Aaron in front of it and everything. So I do wonder like, you know, if this is really the end of Alexandria, but it's definitely like, you know, very crazy to see him and only him alone walking towards it. Because like I said, at first I thought he was going to die, but now I see nothing around this windmill and you make it, you know, it makes you think, is this the end of Alexandria? Because like I said, nothing around it. Next, we just get Aaron out in the woods and everything. And yep, yeah, pretty much just out in the woods, nothing really to break down in this and everything, but it definitely is very weird to see Aaron now alone without Rosita out in the woods. Because in the previous shot, he was with Rosita and everything, is singing from the windmill, but now we see him alone, which is kind of weird. Or it's not really weird. Maybe they wanted to show him alone, but now him without Rosita is definitely worrying, maybe. Next, we see Princess and everything staying in her usual getup with her usual spike weapon and everything. And yet again, I am heavily assuming that this is inside the Commonwealth camp that Ezekiel was previously, sh previously shown in. Because I'm not sure 100% where else this could be. We do see lights behind her shining. So maybe she's in the exact same area as like, you know, Yumiko. Maybe these are the exact same lights. And maybe even Ezekiel was going towards there or like, you know, there too, or maybe was in a separate area of the commonwealth camp but if these are the same lights i do wonder if it's like a screening area where they're going to be like you know brought in for questioning or we're all four of them going to be shined on anything by a light and then maybe there's stephanie pamela Milne, or just someone important is going to appear now next we get a zoom out from the wall of the lost or something like that yet again i I'm so sorry that I cannot remember the name of this wall or anything, but I'm assuming it's the Wall of the Lost. And we zoom out from essentially this one big picture or this like, you know, it looks like it zooms out from one picture specifically. And it's very hard to make out what the text says and everything. If I do figure out anything, I'll put it on screen. But a lot of people have been saying that they could possibly see something involving like, you know, Miko or something th like that and everything. Like it's like, you know, Yumiko with finding like, you know, or someone looking for Yumiko. Maybe Yumiko will be the one who finds a lost person or more so be the person finding Miko. Y Yumiko who was lost because it does look like it says missing have you seen her which obviously now we know this person if this is the, like you know the thing it's like specifically supposed to be focusing on we do know that they're looking for a female which obviously Yumiko female and does mention something about separation or being separated from the person and traveling and baby and like you know the word baby so I do wonder 100% what this all like you know who this person is specifically looking for yet again I've heard people mention that it's Yumiko that this person is looking for but we'll just have to wait and see and everything or if, if we're gonna get more material based on this huge reveal because obviously this is going to be a really big reveal on like you know who this is going to be that this person is looking for and like a huge reunition or reunion fuck me oh so there's a picture on here of somebody flipping off the camera which is like the funniest shit ever and i didn't even realize it until someone pointed on twitter and i completely thought it was a joke when someone pointed it out but it's really funny and this is where it gets really 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 interesting and then we get maggie gabriel daryl and negan on what looks to be a stairwell down into the underground railroads or track or train track area now I'm not 100 sure if this is where they enter which it does look like where they enter since they're all like you know facing back from it or where they're going to exit which maybe they're looking behind them before they exit or maybe they are just like you know entering the trail track underground railroad area but what's re really really weird and i think is we do get text on top of like you know where they are entering or exiting i think it does say pyron or pyron i'm not 100 sure but we also do get to see outside you know like outside we do get to see very bright orange clouds which we'll get a little bit more into later and anything of what that could possibly mean or anything but it's definitely interesting and it's actually very cool to see all these characters together and anything like you know gabriel maggie negan and especially maggie and negan all in the same scene and daryl and also it does look like they are looking at something or someone so i do wonder if they're looking at something specifically like maybe the commonwealth or something i don't know but i do feel that they're not going to meet the commonwealth until maybe season like you know like you know of season probably the mid-season finale of like you know the, of part one going to part two of like you know season 11 yet again we see negan in front of or not yet again we see negan but we do see negan in front of that huge like you know graffiti saying that we've been seeing a lot of season 11 promotion material like the same one that daryl was staying in front of so i do wonder if these have like you know correlations to all of our characters like maybe they've done something bad or anything which obviously they've all done something horrible but maybe this is also a link to maybe all of them trying to get back to the way the world was and that like you know they've all done horrible shit and everything and that like you know if there's a god they will have to beg for his forgiveness maybe that 
that's it. I guess it's an interesting way of looking at it, but I do wonder, like, you know, what this whole sign and graffiti means. But yet again, like, you know, Carol and like Alden and all of them have been doing is he is looking up to sort of some sort of like shining light. So I do wonder what that is. Maybe that's like, you know, the glowing orange of like, you know, outside with the clouds. Now, this right here is where it gets like insane. We get to see our first official close up in the Walking Dead universe of Mercer or anything. Like, no teaser, leak photos or anything, or very quick shots of Mercer. We get our first official close up of Mercer or anything. And he's like, you know, taking off his helmet or anything. He has the bright orange, like, you know, suit on or Commonwealth armor on, which looks like fucking really badass in my opinion, because it's obviously very unique from the Commonwealth's, like, you know, white uniform or armor. And he's taking off his helmet. He looks very surprised at something, or like, you know, he's like looking like, what the hell is this? And we can see gates behind him or anything. So I do wonder if these are the gates inside the Commonwealth camp that, like, you know, Yumiko, Eugene, Princess and Ezekiel being kept in, or if this is maybe like you know an entrance gate to somewhere because we do get to see a shot later on about something that like you know possibly means someone's entering in. He's like, what the hell is this? Then we just ne next get to see Carol alone inside the train tracks without. Alden. So this is very weird because we did see a shot earlier of Rosita and like, you know, Aaron together, but then we only saw Aaron alone and now no more Rosita. And now we saw Carol and Alden, but now no more Alden. So this is definitely very weird. And I, I wonder if that means these two characters are going to die. I don't know. Maybe next we get to see a lot of storm clouds rushing in and everything. We do get to see two walkers like, you know, just walking along and storm clouds rushing in. I guess I might as well get to this now and everything since like, you know, it's, it's going to be shown a lot and everything that is teased but you get to see like you know orange clouds and everything possibly fire clouds and lots of like you know dust and like you know everything blowing in storm clouds so my whole thing and this is definitely not the case since the timelines of the ship both shows don't even match up at all or maybe they do and or anything but i strongly doubt it but the whole thing is like you know the storm clouds rushing in tons of dust fire clouds is that like you know this is possibly the impact of the nuke from fear the walking dead season six which like i said highly doubt or anything since obviously the timelines don't even match up at all and or anything i doubt the nuke blast would even make it all the way here since it's a very far way to travel but what's very weird right Right here and everything is that I have a bit of a theory is that these are the two characters that obviously went missing inside the teaser which this is maybe represents Rosita and Alden and how like you know they become walkers since there's two walkers and obviously there's two characters that are missing from both the scenes with like you know Carol and Alden and Rosita and Aaron so I do feel that maybe this signifies that I'm not 100% sure maybe I'm looking too deep into it but we also get to see a water tower a blacked out water tower in the distance which obviously a lot of people are pointing towards Gabriel's death and everything which at at this point they've put it off for so long that i wonder if it's even going to happen or if they're maybe going to give to someone else to make like a huge surprise next we get to see eugene or anything looking up and kind of very like you know very focused on something and he's in the light room or anything like yumiko and i think princess were in which is very odd because we haven't seen ezekiel in this room or anything we've only seen princess yumiko and now eugene inside this light room with the two lights and not like you know ezekiel so i do wonder you know where is he in this room because like i said we've seen characters that have gone missing from their pack in this teaser so that's not good next you get to see daryl and everything he's putting up his bow and arrow or crossbow towards something in the underground railroad sewer track area and it looks to be there's like maybe like this cage or something that's down in like you know the sewer train track area or anything possibly a cage i'm not 100 sure what that is but yet again i think it's like a fence or a cage and you can see a glowing light coming out of a sewer pipe and or anything or maybe where like you know him and his group walked or anything and it's like you know bright bright yellow or orange so I do wonder what that is a hundred percent or anything why there's a gate there who he's pulling the bow and arrow to maybe it's Mercer or maybe it's one of the Reapers I have no clue but definitely definitely I have no clue who next we get to see a group of one two three four five five Commonwealth soldiers doing like kind of this weird pose and turning around maybe like it's kind of like um a kind of routine for the Commonwealth soldiers to follow and everything we get to see them like you know do this like badass turn or anything and they look really cool and everything this lighting and just all of this and just it's really cool to see the Commonwealth soldiers not really much to break down here but just really cool to see them but they're also in the exact same light room or it looks to be the exact same light room that Yumiko Princess and Eugene were seen in so i do wonder okay five commonwealth soldiers princess yumiko and eugene or anything but no ezekiel next we get to see negan or anything and it's doing kind of a really quick spin shot around negan or anything we do get to see this kind of warehouse setting behind him where it looks to be a warehouse with all red on the outside like 100 percent orange and red and everything all on the outside of like you know this warehouse that looks like he's standing in and maybe this isn't a warehouse maybe this is a train yard or anything that like you know maybe they're in after getting out of the train track on the ground railroad 
Rosewood area. Or maybe this is the exact same where it has to be saw Rosita in and with Carol, Maggie, and Lydia and all like, you know, them inside the like that warehouse military base. But I don't it's definitely interesting. Next week to see Gabriel and everything pointing a shotgun towards someone yet again in the Underground Railroad tri uh, like train track areas and everything. I wonder who's pointing his gun to because like I said in the like previous shot, we did see Daryl pointing his crossbow towards someone. So I do wonder who is like, you know, Gabriel pointing the crossbow or not the crossbow, but the shotgun to like Daryl was pointing the crossbow at someone. This is a very far-fetched theory that I just thought of too and everything. But what if Gabriel's the one that points to his like, you know, weapon like, you know, Dwight did in the comics at Pamela Millen and then Daryl shoots Gabriel in the head? Because Gabriel's been on a bit of a paranoid annoyed path or anything this season or like you know not this season but season 10 or anything so it would be interesting if that was to happen since he seems a bit unhinged but i kind of don't really want him to die actually next we go down the tunnel or anything and this is the, must be the exact same tunnel that was behind daryl in that other shot or anything where the light was shining through now we're going quickly down the tunnel or anything there's constant flashing lights so i do wonder if that's maybe the commonwealth finding daryl's like you know group or anything down like you know in the underground railroad area or maybe this is the reapers maybe it's an explosion maybe it's gunshots maybe it's even their group that they're meeting down there. I'm not 100% sure. But I saw the shot and everything. It did kind of remind me of the movie It or any, and everything with like, you know, the like, you know, those like bright lights and everything inside Pennywise's mouth or that like, you know, the bright lights that he shows them to like, you know, possess them. I don't know why it just like, you know, reminded me of that. As we get to see Maggie and everything and she's inside this train car, which is, it looks to be and everything, is the exact same train car that we did see in that other season 11 promo image. And we did see a bunch of walkers inside this train. It looks like the exact same train. So I wonder if she'll come across those walkers walkers inside this train and she'll be the one to take them all out next we get to see carol and everything and what looks to be inside that exact same warehouse that her maggie and lydia and rosita were all in in that one season 11 promo image but we do get to see this weird bright light behind it, which looks to be the exact same bright light that like you know popped up in like you know that like you know sewer tunnel so i do wonder why that's there and everything and why there's just bright lights tons of them in this teaser thing if it's a signifying thing i'm not sure but it does look to be that there's maybe a helicopter or something behind and definitely looks like she's not in the Underground Railroad train trackers. So maybe this is when she's in the warehouse with her group in the military base, pro like, you know, possibly or anything. And maybe even Negan's there since obviously we did get to see him and also a warehouse looking place. We also get to see Daryl and he's standing on the outside of the Underground Railroad track area and everything. And he's looking up into the sky or possibly up at something or even like, you know, looking very far into something. But yet again, the sky is very, very like, you know, bright, like, you know, yellow, reddish, like, you know, orange. And he's on the outside of the trail in track underground road area and everything and keep in mind this is the first we're seeing of like any of our group members well not any of our group members but like the first we're seeing of any of our group members that were down in the train track underground railroad area on the outside of it so i feel this is them making it to the commonwealth possibly and them looking at like like daryl looking at it like maybe he's the first one to leave out of like you know the underground railroad area and he's like holy shit what the hell is this because i guarantee when he sees that huge commonwealth community or anything not even community like a fucking state or a country to them but i do wonder if that's what he's looking at or anything like this is when he leaves and the group finally leaves because like i said this is the first time i've seen of any of the underground railroad track people or anything on the outside of like you know the area so i do wonder if that's what he's looking at or anything which would be definitely makes sense and would be very very fucking badass and cool and definitely eye-opening next we get to see eugene inside what looks to be the light area that we've seen all of them in or anything or maybe the commonwealth caged in camp it looks like he's picking up a weapon possibly a sword or something there's lots of tables around him like lunch tables so i do wonder if maybe this is him escaping since the cages are in fact open and he's like leaving through to go like you know check the area out next we get to see daryl what looks to be kind of like maybe the underground railroad track area since it looks to be very open you can see outside the skies and everything or maybe this is like the open beginning area of them going down into the train track area or maybe this is just somewhere else unless this does look like maybe to be inside of a train but maybe not make sure to comment down below if what you guys think like you know any of these characters are next we get to see yumiko with her bow and everything which is very weird since all their weapons were confiscated by the commonwealth and everything so i do wonder how she got her bow and everything where she is because it looks like there's lights behind her like the exact same bright lights we've been seeing the entire teaser and everything so i do wonder if this signifies with this light that like you know it'll bring our entire group together or anything like them what they will all find each other like you know daryl will find daryl's group will find like yumiko's group in the commonwealth possibly but it does look like there's like this weird kind of 
shack next or behind you, but going to think this also shot looks really badass, by the way. But it looks like there's like this tiny shack next to her, which I do wonder what it that is. Next, we get to see a cart showing up to what looks to be the gates of the Commonwealth. So you get to see two soldiers standing guard at the gates. And then we do go through the legs of this one Commonwealth soldier. And what's very weird is I did think this was Mercer at first, but Mercer's suit is a hundred percent like you know orange, at least as far as I'm concerned, I think it is. And we do get to see some white surrounding this, like you know, Commonwealth soldier's gear. So I thought this was Mercer when he takes off his helmet and he looks at this like you know, group rolling up his gates. And he's like, What the hell? But this looks like to be a combo soldier in white padding. So unless there's like, you know, some white padding on Mercer's like, you know, uniform, which there might be, I'm not 100% sure, which I not sure if there are white padding, but maybe this is Mercer, or maybe it's another soldier or anything waiting at the gates, and we do get to see this cart rolling up, which is possibly Daryl in, like, you know, their group rolling up to the Commonwealth gates, since Yumiko, Eugene, and Ezekiel are already inside that entire group, or inside the Commonwealth camps, I think, so I do assume that this is them, like, rolling up to the gates. Actually, now that I think about it, in the comics, they, when they were all arriving to the Commonwealth, they all arrived on horseback in a carriage, so I do wonder if this is maybe Yumiko, Eugene, Ezekiel, and Princess, or anything, or maybe even Daryl with all of them arriving up to the Commonwealth gates and everything with that one guy in this suit from the comics. I completely forgot his name, damn it. And he's like, oh, we made it here and everything. This is the Commonwealth and they arrive at the gates, which is definitely an interesting thing to think about. But this is clearly a Commonwealth checkpoint or anything, a gate entering the community or maybe the Commonwealth camp. We get another shot of Mercer or anything and yet again, the light room or anything. We saw Yumiko, Eugene, and Princess in or anything with two Commonwealth soldiers staying guard behind him. And he looks very angry and determined or anything, but yet again, very very badass to see him for his first official close-up clear appearance. Next, we could like to see inside a door and everything, or like, you know, into like, you know, a room or anything, through a door, through glass and everything. It looks like the room is bursting into flames. So I do wonder what is exactly in this room and everything. Like I said, it looks like it's bursting into flames and everything. We get to see through this door and definitely scary. We're thinking to see the re like, you know, the Reaper group and everything rolling up to, like, somewhere. I think it looks to be in the woods, and it looks to be there's, like, you know, this bright light behind him or anything, or this explosion or fire, which I'm not gonna lie, the Reapers look super badass here and everything. This, I'm assuming, is the exact same shot when, like, you know, we got from the last teaser when they're all, like, you know, rolling through the woods and everything on the streets looking for maybe people to kill, but they look do look terrifying and badass, honestly. Next, we get to see this train rolling by really, really quick and everything with, yet again, the light, you know, shining right through and everything of this. I'm assuming it might be, it can't be a moving train unless it is a moving train. Since in issue 193, I think of The Walking Dead, we did, did get to see an operational train. So maybe that's teasing this, or maybe it's just the train with all the walkers in it from the previous images and anything. And maybe with the one Maggie that uh, Maggie is possibly inside anything and that she'll kill those walkers, maybe. And in the last and final shot of this tease, we do get to see Ezekiel. And it, it took me a really long time to figure out this was Ezekiel or anything. Cause like, you know, it was very quick, very bright. But we do get to see in this really, a really bright orange, like, you know, yellowish room or anything. It looks like he's struggling for dear life and, like, you know, swinging or jumping or maybe even trying to avoid something or even going after something. And he's, like, you know, it looks very, very determined or anything. And the room's bright yellow, reddish, like, you know, orange. So I do wonder if this is maybe Ezekiel inside that burning on fire room, which I don't even want to get into, like, you know, the Commonwealth possibly burning Ezekiel alive. But I do wonder what's exactly going on in this shot or anything. Is maybe he, like, trying to save people from a fire or maybe a reaper attack inside the commonwealth that he's trying to save people from. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely a worrying shot, and yeah, that is Ezekiel. Also, this isn't really a shot to break down, but can we just admire how badass this logo looks in my opinion? Like, it looks really fucking cool, because the Walking Dead logo has been, like, you know, evolving from, like, in the very start, and this one looks fucking awesome awesome like really really fucking cool in my opinion but yeah that was the teaser and everything the here and or something but yeah that was the have and have not teaser or anything for season 11 of the walking dead aka the final season damn that hurts to say and this was an amazingly cool teaser or anything seeing like you know what could possibly be going on in this underground railroad or anything you know what's the bright light seeing mercer for the first time or anything what's going on with ezekiel princess and eugene and all of them and man there's just so much shit and everything i can't recap it all but it, i'm definitely really excited for season 11 or anything this teaser was fucking awesome i've seen a lot of people say this teaser wasn't too good which i don't know what the hell they're talking about which i would see obviously everyone's entitled to their own opinion or anything but i thought it was really fucking cool in my opinion i know i'm saying that a lot but it was just really cool but like i said this teaser will be linked down below in the description make sure to comment down below you oh and anything your thoughts on this teaser and like, you know, maybe go over some things that I didn't or maybe didn't see and possibly missing this teaser or make sure to answer some of my questions down below and like, you know, 
what the hell is going on some of these shots and things like i said very cool like you know teaser and yeah make sure to like comment and subscribe for more of the latest in the walk down universe and more stuff and breakdowns like this and everything yep i see you guys later to my amigos and peace out <laughs>